All right, everybody. So we are going to look at a punctuation lesson today. And we are going to be looking at something called periods, question marks, and exclamation marks. Okay, so we're gonna write some sentences. Martin went fishing. What about Jenny ate pizza? The dog played with the ball. Okay, so we have three sentences here. And when we have a full sentence or something special that we always do at the end of the sentence, when it is telling us something, we put what's called a period at the end of the sentence. So Martin went fishing, period. It's the end of a sentence. It's the end of a complete thought. Here, Jenny ate pizza, lucky duck. That's the end of a sentence, so we're gonna put a period. The dog played with the ball. That's the end of a sentence. All right, so when we have a full sentence, we always have to put a period at the end of it. Jenny went to the store. She bought oh, apples and and bananas when she was there she saw her friend George. Okay, so I actually have three sentences here. Well, I accidentally showed you the first one, didn't I? <laughs> Jenny went to the store, period. Sometimes it's really hard for me to leave out periods. I've been using them for so long. She bought apples and bananas. When she was there, she saw her friend George. Okay, so we need to go ahead and figure out where the two sentences are. One really good hint is I want you to look for the capital letters. Okay, because remember capital letters show the beginning of a new sentence. So let's find, so here's a cap. So we know this is the beginning of our sentence. So there's a capital letter, lowercase, 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 capital letter, lowercase, 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 capital letter. Okay, so we need to figure out where we're gonna put our periods. It's gonna go before one of these capital letters. So if it went before George, which would be here, it's she bought apples and bananas when she was there, she saw her friend, George. Hmm. <laughs> George all by itself is in a sentence. So what if we put it here? She bought apples and bananas. Is that a full thought? Yeah, yeah, if you said that to anybody, they'd be like, all right, cool. So she bought apples and bananas. When she was there, she saw her friend, George. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So this is capitalized because it's a proper noun. Do you remember the proper and common noun lesson that we had? We capitalized George because it's a proper noun. It's the name of somebody very special and unique, George. So you see, we have three sentences here. So when, you have the end of a, when you're at the end of a sentence, I want you to go ahead and put a period. So let's look at question marks. Question marks go at the end of questions. And what do questions do? They ask something. So, did you know that the sky is blue sometimes? What? is your 
favorite food. Why is it so cold outside? Okay, so here I have one, two, or one, two, three different sentences. Okay, so this is, did you know that the sky is blue sometimes? I didn't put all the time because sometimes it's gray, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's green or yellow. Ooh. But when you're asking something at the end of a sentence, you put a question mark. What is your favorite food? Question. Why is it so cold out? I've asked myself that a couple times this week. It is too cold. I want to be outside. Why is it so cold out? So all of these are questions. So when you write a question, you always put a question mark at the end of, this, of the question. Okay, so a sentence is a statement, a question. A sentence is a statement, a question is asking something. So the last thing I want to look at are exclamation marks. This is an exclamation mark, an upside down I. So these typically come after, well, exclamations when you're really excited. Like, wow, I just did a cartwheel. Is cartwheel two words? Cartwheel. So I guess that there's actually going to be two in here. Wow. I just did a cart. So there's going to be two. Wow. I just did a cartwheel. So use exclamation marks when you're exclaiming something. When you're really excited about it. I just jumped. real high and did a flip on the trampoline. That's pretty exciting. So I'm going to put an exclamation mark. Oh, this one. I get to eat cake pops. That was probably today. That is pretty sneaking exciting to me. So again, we use periods at the end of a sentence, question marks at the end of a question, an exclamation mark at the end of an exclamation. So again, periods go at the end of a sentence, question marks go at the end of a question, and exclamation marks go at the end of an exclamation. So that's the end of the punctuation lesson. What I would say a great follow-up with work would be, would be to write a story and then make sure you include all three of those punctuation marks in that story. Or you can write a letter to somebody and include them in that letter. Any kind of writing you want to do is totally fine. Or if you want to photocopy a book that you're reading and then find all the different punctuation marks in there, you can do that too. Okay, guys. I miss you tons. Talk to you later.